After seeing so many videos on YouTube about it, I wanted to see if Star Citizen was finally worth getting invested in. So with no clue, I set off with a relatively easy goal. Make 1 million AUEC and maybe buy a brand new ship. I thought this might take me about a week, scratch my recent itch for space games and would be an easy video under my YouTuber belt, but Star Citizen had other ideas in mind. My name is Remus Van Kozid, and I just spent the last two months of whatever free time I had crawling my way out of the buggy Star Citizen gutter to earn 1 million credits. I bought into Star Citizen in November of 2013, way back when there was only a hangar module. I got a decent sounding starter ship, the Avenger Stalker, which was apparently well suited for bounty hunting as it had internal compartments to hold bounty targets. Over the 11ish years since, I've attempted to play Star Citizen a handful of times, but never had a PC beefy enough to get a stable 30 frames per second, or 5 to 10 frames per second in cities. I kept pushing it back until finally, in May of 2024, I decided to give it a crack with my i12 12900K and 3080. Right, let's step out. And it ran Start our missions. mostly okay. Open. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Hey, mate. Okay, looks like I started on Garbage Planet. You can smell the opportunity. After spending way too long staring at awkward NPCs, I picked up a delivery mission to dust off the cobwebs and went off to fly to the nearest space station to begin my journey to millionaire status. This is where I started getting some quirks. It's good to see you again. Okay. It has been a long time. I'm going to have to look at the keybinds. Oh, God. All right. You... Uh, I. You are here to launch. It's not showing that the engines are on. No, they're on. Okay, here we go. Taking off. A little bit janky. What? Uh, I, 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 turn engines on. Oh no, no, <laughs> oh god, weirdly this ship hasn't blown up. Should I eject? Ejection's not working, okay. Um, here we go. Engines are online. I don't understand. <laughs> what? What? I'm still alive? Okay. I've just got to run back to the hangar. Maybe this way? Oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Just gonna die. Good night. Uh, I'm guessing that was a cursed ship. Welcome this one's gonna be different. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Please proceed to assign landing. Okay. Just have to dock. Just slowly. What? What? What even hit me? What? Oh. I quit out and left Star Citizen for the day, thinking that maybe these stability issues would eye themselves out overnight. Second day in, I decided to ditch the cursed delivery missions for something a bit more entertaining. It was time to give mercenary missions a go. I noticed that they had added creatures, so what better an opportunity to check them out than by shooting at them with a handgun? Alright. You don't like me, and I don't like you. Let's just make it up into space, please, and land. Alright, I don't know if this is a good sign, 
the space station is shooting missiles off randomly <laughs> at random locations. All right, I'll just casually land as the missiles are flying about. Smooth, smooth, smooth first landing. Ah. Okay, buy a gun, then down to the planet. Hello, I would like to buy a gun. Hi, let me know if there's anything I can help you with. A gun? You okay? You seem nervous. You can always use your Moby if you want some more details on what we have in stock. This game's pretty. Push this down. And we're on the planet's surface. Let's kill some copium. I got lost underground for 20 minutes. I didn't even get a chance to see any of the creatures because they just randomly fell down holes or something. They just weren't there to kill. I didn't even kill any- Oh! Is that it? Is- Oh! Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Never doing this again. I switched over to protect the site missions. Where you take down around 10 enemies inside a bunker for around 11k. This seemed like a more lucrative job than stumbling around underground. Alright, let's do it slowly. Uh, I don't know if that's a friendly or a... Oh! Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. The shooting felt punchy and responsive, even though the enemies were... Oh, there's another one. Not. Oh, all right. Um, uh, cool. Let's... What? What's happening? Why does it keep reloading when I... I don't understand. Every time I was shooting, it reloaded. Shit, where did they go? What do you mean? I'm right... <laughs> right I've rearmed. I've got heavy armor now, and I've got a assault rifle. This time, it's personal. And here's where I learned a few important things. Number one, enemies are incredibly accurate and hurt. Two, don't stop shooting until they're dead. Three, it's better to be overprepared than repeatedly dead. But to be overprepared costs around 20-ish thousand credits. So I would need to do about two missions nice, nice, in nice. order to cover the expenses of my equipment. Slowly down. Oh, I cut the engines. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take that landing. All right, I'll just fix it up a little bit. I'm gonna park on the outskirts here. Nice. It seemed worth it though, because enemies seemed to bend bullets around corners and heavy armor saved my ass through many hiccups. Oh God. Oh, I don't like the way that the bullets sometimes go through the, the cover. I then realized I could make a little more money selling the drops from enemies in the bunker, specifically heavy armor and rifles. I managed to fit a couple of personal storage containers snugly in the back of my stalker in the hopes of big profits. Oh, no, 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 please. Oh, I just got some new gear. Please. Please don't. This is... Please don't kill me. Please, Star Citizen. Please. Chris Roberts. Oh, thank you, Chris Roberts. But what I discovered was that the inventory menu for the container was busted. It wouldn't let me put anything inside. I think it might be bugged. God damn it. Why can't I put them in the container? It says capacity infinite. Frustrated with this, I came up with another plan. What if we take all of the bodies and it's yeah i'm just gonna put them all on the ship you're all coming with me everyone's dead body and gun <laughs> i'm taking you for a ride too many dead bodies blocking the doorway you can have the bed there you go 
And close. <laughs> Safe. Good night. And you? This is your room? Good night. Got like a corpse B&B. &B. All right, now to strip the bodies. Nice, some heavy armor. And there you go. Clean up a little bit, put this in your bedroom. Right, and out with your mates. Let's put you all in a little circle. I really hope somebody comes up from the planet and just lands here, because <laughs> his body is just going to be floating here. So beautiful. Oh, Maria. All right, goodbye, boys. Thank you for your gear. See you later. Unfortunately, dragging all the bodies to the ship and trying to sell everything at the station above Water. took way too long, and I just wasn't making enough money. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna eat this burrito while locking eyes with you. Yum, 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 yum. That was delicious, thank you. Should I have another? No, I'm just gonna walk away like a badass. Oh, I got stuck on the table. <laughs> no, he's still looking. Not to mention that I had a pretty frequent crash rate. It just seemed like every time I managed to earn a little bit of money, my ship would explode with me in it, holding all of my gear, and I would have to spend another 20-ish grand just to get kitted up for the next mercenary mission. I've frozen. Frozen. No, and... Hey! <laughs> no! No. Every time I die, it's like another 25 grand. I started to go crazy. I'm back here. <laughs> Hit a cycle. Well, I'm going to say a whole week where I would just nice, go nice. forward and then backwards. There's some heavy armor there. Whoop. Whoop. Two. What? Whoop, 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 whoop. No, 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 no. Oh, for f sakes. Occasionally, I would try out some bounty hunting missions. And that seemed really cool. Oh, yeah. I just love watching them tumble back down to the ground. Although I still had some issues with the server performance. Uh, hello? Don't we want to turn left? Oh! No, 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 no! Surely not. Surely not. This is quantum travel. I have no control over this. Oh, f off. What am I supposed to do, Chris Roberts? And enemy ships using themselves as battering rams. I'm going to stick with the mercenary missions. For the next two weeks, whenever I had some free time, I would jump on Star Citizen, get a mercenary mission and cross my fingers got that Chris Roberts would be smiling on me. How the f have I got 40 grand in fines? I haven't done anything. Failure to comply. Just enough to let me get down to the planet, get back up, sell the wares, and be okay. Okay, so I haven't got any gear. I don't want to spend money on gear. Um, let's try to use just the ship to do this. There's a guy. Oh. Still alive? Sometimes he would be fine. In here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, cool. And we're done. A lot of the times, I, I wasn't. What that diamond doesn't make any sense. I've got so much gear on me. No, please, 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 please. Around this time, I started to get really demoralized. It had been about a month and I'd only about 60-ish grand to show for it. And it was so frustrating because it felt like I was doing everything right. Finally, on one particular day, I just had a really bad time and decided to stop. No, please, 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 please. 
Are you f***ing serious? Are you f***ing having a laugh? I just spent... <laughs> I just spent so much money on gear two times to die both times in quantum jump. What the f***? But it was at this time that I went away and I tried to figure out why Star Citizen was being such a jerk. And I discovered why. It turns out Star Citizen really likes to use your CPU. And for some reason, my CPU specifically has these things called efficiency cores. Now, in short, efficiency cores are used by the CPU to offload background task processing. This frees up the primary cores to focus on whatever is being used in the foreground and make multi-threading run more efficiently. However, in some games like Star Citizen's case, these efficiency cores get used in place of the primary core and the game will just run terribly. At least that's what I think is happening, I'm not a computer scientist. Each time I was having a hiccup, it was because these efficiency cores were being used instead of my actual cores. And the game just ran like shit. Maybe I can make it home. They're still shooting me. That's so mean. Why are you being this mean? I haven't got any wings. Oh. I turned these cores off and it ran like an absolute dream. Feeling another insurance fraud scam. That turret messed me up, holy crap. Uh, let's see. Eject, all right. <laughs> that looks so janky. Whee! Ah, uh, safe. Insurance fraud. I researched a bit more and I worked out a way to store armor and weapons within the storage containers and how to get around that infinite value bug. Don't be like that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Everything's okay. Everything's cool. Ooh. I was making some money. I'm Remus Van Cozy and welcome to Space Hunt. This is pretty peaceful. Yeah, for some reason my weapons just don't do too much damage, so let's run them over. Go on. There you go. I think I hit some. <laughs> I think some got hit just then. Uh, let's do it slowly. Let's make sure. There they are. All right. Just go to sleep. Go on. Be good, space doggies. Oh no! <laughs> but I still landed on him and exploded. Rehabilitation facility? Wait, what? Oh, I got put in space jail for running over space dogs. A month and a half had passed, and one day I decided I was finally going to try out renting a ship. But I didn't want it to be just any ship. I wanted to try out mining, so I rented a prospector, and I didn't read any instructions on how to do mining. <laughs> I really should have looked up how to do this. Okay, so we do that, and then extract as it's... Oh! What? I'm getting killed by these stupid... stupid little gems! Oh no, <laughs> I've lost power. Come on, hold together. No, 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 no. You're okay, you're okay. There you go, come on. Oh. There's bits of me everywhere, we're fine. Let's get out of here. Son of a bitch. I managed to work it out. I got the pattern of how to mine down and I started to ferry resources back for processing. During the 24 hour period of renting the prospector, I got about 15 orders done. This looks like- Be advised, you are continuing to approach 
to restricted facility. Trespassing will be treated according oh, to God, the Oh god, where? Alright, I'll just get back to where I was. No. Please don't. Decoy, decoy, decoy. Decoys aren't coming out. Where is it? Where's this missile? Oh no. Okay. Um, 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 um. Decoy, 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 Maybe like 33% of the time the decoy fires. The rest? Nothing. Engine on. Okay, power's completely gone. Goodbye. After waiting a couple of days, I carved out some time and rented a Drake Cutlass Black and then began the arduous process of ferrying each of these orders down to the nearby planet to sell at the commodity Hi, market. Awesome. So awesome. Oh, okay, I get the big ones. All right, maybe this isn't going to be so bad. Insurance scam. Each of these runs was white knuckle because each run was worth about a hundred grand. One slip up, and I'd lose a hundred grand. From what? Okay, maybe this isn't so bad. I only have to go forward a little bit, just forward, and then slowly, oh god, it's pitching forward. It won't pitch backwards. Ugh. No, no, no. Oh my god. Okay, just down, 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 just down. Holy sh**. I have no idea what did that, but my god. Took off both my wings. Finally, after two months of trying, after two months of battling random crashes, random quantum drive glitches, random falling through the world. Aww, get fucked. Random spaceship exploding for no reason. I was finally a millionaire. See. And I found out that I couldn't afford the ship I wanted. <laughs> I've got to do it. I've got to keep going. They pushed all the ship prices up. What the hell is this? All in all, I've had a fantastic time with Star Citizen. And it's something that I'm trying to get my friends to play. Because I reckon it would be so much fun with multiplayer. The whole idea of having a multi-person crew within the one ship each with their own role. Working towards a common goal is, that's like one of my major gaming dreams. I want to be able to pilot a massive spaceship. I just want to be a space trucker with all my friends and run drugs. <laughs> I am becoming the seat. I am seat citizen. <laughs> <laughs>